Welcome back to another episode with PixelMorep. In today's episode, I'm going to introduce you to another plugin to help you optimize your WordPress database. And then we'll cover a little bit of maintaining your website so that way um, it performs well. All right, so first thing we're going to do is you're going to log into your website via the admin page. And then you're going to go over to the plugins link on the left hand sidebar. You can click on add new. And then in the search plugins field, we're going to type in WP sweep and hit return or enter. And then the first option is going to be this one right here. It allows you to clean up unused, orphaned and duplicated data in your WordPress installation. It also optimizes your database tables. It is, um, <clears throat> Excuse me, it's installed on over 10,000 active installations and it has uh, five stars and 49 reviews and it's been recently updated as this, uh, as of this airing of um, this tutorial. So we can click on more details if you want. And then it will give you some basic information on what the actual plugin does. As you see, it does a lot of, uh, of um, things that other optimization plugins may not do. Uh, especially dealing with the orphaned uh, data. Uh, since this is built um, with two WordPress standards and using um, the best uh, coding standards based on WordPress with its built-in functions, it is able to optimize the database tables and your website in ways that other plugins can't. All right, so you can always check on the installation, screenshots, change log, it tells you what it has resolved and then in the facts section it has it coming soon but if you see it's a five star rating which is awesome so just click on install now it'll run through the process of installing it onto your installation and then you're just going to activate the plugin as you would any other plugin uh, from there there it'll bring you back to your plugins uh, page and you're going to see that it's here all right, so now what can we do? Um, when you have it installed and activated, the options are gonna be located in your tools section of your admin um, dashboard. And then it's gonna have a link option called sweep. And then from there, you're going to see what it has. Uh, it says for performance reasons, only 500 items will be shown if you click on details. All right, and then it says, before you do any sweep, please back up your database. Uh, first, because any sweep done is irreversible. Uh, this is a very important message. You should always, before making any changes or drastic changes to your installation, you should always back up your database. Um, God forbid something happens, it gets corrupted, um, your database gets corrupted, at least you'll have a backup copy so you can reinstall it and start over without losing all your pages, posts, and things of that nature. Um, so it's always important to make a backup of your database. And then it shows you what it does. So post sweep, it identifies, you know, things like the revisions you've made, any auto drafts that have been uh, made in your website. If you have any unapproved comments or spam comments or whatever, it'll show it here. Um, user sweep, it shows you any potential orphan data or duplicated data. And term sweep as well, it gives you some more information on these. Unused terms. Um, option sweep, it shows you any transients that you have uh, there. And then also shows you your database table. So currently we have 22 tables in our database. Um, that's because we have other plugins that have created custom tables in our database. So you have a couple of options. You can either, from the top, identify which items you want to sweep individually. So you can, you know, choose maybe you only want to, you know, sweep the auto draft. So you can just click on uh, this button here and it'll sweep it. And the same thing goes for all the ones that have anything that needs to be cleaned. Um, the other option is you can sweep all and then it'll just run through the process of uh, cleaning your database and optimizing it. But first I want to take you back to PHP my admin and I want to show you our database tables. All right, so here we have, um, since we have other plugins that created 
uh, custom tables. We have some custom tables here that are not standard um, for a basic installation of WordPress. Um, you see we have a total of uh, 346 rows. Uh, the size of our database is 1.6 MIB. Um, and that's the basic information of our database. If you look at specific areas here in the WP options, it has 173, WP post meta 61, 25, 22, 44 for the user meta. You know, these are some information. So take note of this because once we do the sweep, we're going to come back and see what it actually did. All right. So let's go back to the sweep. All right. And we are going to sweep all. So now it's going through the process of sweeping or cleaning um, each section of mm -hmm. your database. And if you scroll back up, we're going to see that the revisions have been zeroed out, auto drive zeroed out, um, things of that nature. As a matter of fact, I have some posts here that I actually do want to delete. So we're going to go to my all posts and I set them up just for this demonstration. So I'm just going to bulk delete uh, these um, these posts and I'm just going to click on apply. And now they're in the trash. So you could always empty your trash manually, but let's say you have a lot of posts or pages that you've um, deleted. You know, you could just do it the fast way. So now if we go back, we see there are the three revisions and three deleted posts. So now we can go down and we can sweep these as well. Sweep everything again. And it'll go through the process of cleaning it out. All right. So everything's been done. So now let's see. Um, let's go back to our PHP my admin. I'm going to refresh this page. All right. So now we see that the actual database size has changed. It went down to 1.2 MIB from the 1.6 it was previously. We went down in the total number of rows of, you know, in terms of your in your database from 340, I believe it was, to 298. And in some of these options, we also went down as well. Um, so that is, you know, uh, important because optimizing your database is going to increase its performance and keep your 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 installation and your website, you know, in peak uh, condition. Obviously, the more cluttered your database gets, the uh, slower it can become. So it's always important to optimize your database and to keep it, you know, in pristine condition. So you want to. You know, if you have a deleted post or if you have too many post revisions or, um, you know, too many spam comments that you just didn't haven't had a chance to delete, you could just use a plugin like this to take care of that. Um, so that's important. Another thing to do, um, and this is stepping away from the plugin for a second, but, you know, you, you want to, you know, uh, get in the habit of, if you see uh, that you're not using any specific themes, just go ahead and start deleting them. You can just click on the theme details and then you can always just click delete and then you'll no longer have that on your installation in your installation. Um, it's important to do this because it just makes um, your your file sizes for your your server smaller because you have less um, themes installed and it's also good based on security because if you have you know a bunch of plugins or themes that are old no longer maintained you know there's always a potential that that can cause an issue so i'm going to prune or delete some you know some um some plugins here so you just go there bulk we're going to deactivate those and apply so that's the first part of that when you're deleting plugins and then inactive And delete. So this is like spring cleaning your website, uh, making sure that you only have the uh, themes that you need, the plugins that you need to, to manage and run your website and to optimize your database. Um, so in this episode, we covered a plugin called WP Sweep, uh, which is a 
database optimizing uh, plugin and it is well regarded it's been featured on popular WordPress uh, blogs like WP beginner and the theme developer right here has done a really good job of maintaining the plugin keeping it up to date um, using WordPress uh, coding best standards and using a lot of the built-in functions of WordPress uh, so the, plug the plugin developer really did a solid job with this um, it's a great plugin I definitely recommend it it's my new favorite uh, database optimizing plugin and I recommend it and also don't forget to you know uh, delete any unused themes and any unused plugins um, to keep your uh, your installation as clean and efficient as possible so hopefully you enjoyed this episode if you did please give us a thumbs up below if you have any thoughts ideas or comments uh, leave them in the comment section and I'll take a look at that and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be uh, creating more videos on how to manage your WordPress powered website, how to keep it performing uh, properly, how to, you know, do things like securing your website, um, you know, topics like SEO, search engine optimization, uh, social media marketing, things of that nature. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I hope that you subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.